Hello guys and welcome to the Music Empire. I believe by God's grace everybody is doing fine. Today's video, we are coming to take a look at a certain 251. And we are not we are not coming to do a song, but we are taking this 251 and we will interpret it in different keys, thereby creating more 251s. And this is actually one of the quick ways that I use to expand my chord vocabulary. I can take one chord or one small progression and then interpret it in different keys and then i will now focus on how to apply them in music but for this video we are going to take a look at the chords and how to i mean diversify it in other keys and maybe in another lesson we will take a look at how we can uh, play around with these chords in a song now these chords sound jazzy by nature so basically this is it it's a uh, two five so I believe you basically know that the basis for 251 or the foundation when it comes to 251s, it's, it's mostly calculated using intervals or we can take a look at a key and then calculate the 251 from there. So in this case, it would be like uh, the key of D, right? So if we should interpret it in the key of D, then our E becomes our 2, our A becomes our 5, and our D becomes a 1. So this is a 2, 5, 1. Now let's break down this 251. And very soon you will see that in reality it's not a 251. You, you, you may be able to classify it as a 736. You can classify it as a 514. You can classify it as, let me say, uh, flat 573. So many ways. You can classify it in so many ways depending on the key that you will read it from. Okay, that's why I haven't said that. That's why in the beginning of the lesson I didn't say we will be in this key or we will be in that key. We are coming to explore many keys, but let's just learn the chords themselves first, and afterwards we will see what we we'll do with it. So, on the E bass note, so on what I call the two, which is the E bass note, I just have the E bass note, and then on my right hand I have the G major seventh chord, okay, making it an E minor ninth chord. So I just have the E minor ninth chord, which is the E on my left hand, E octave on my left hand, and on my right hand I have the G B. F sharp so that's 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 our first chord and then it's our second chord which is uh the a and e and on my right hand i have the g c sharp and f so and then this is supposed to be the one right so i just have the d minor ninth chord which is the d you can add this five to it so it's a d a d and then on my right hand i have the f major seventh chord which is the f a C and E, okay. Yeah, so these are the, the three chords we are coming to learn. Now, the interesting thing is, we are coming, you, you will attach your own chords to these chords, these three chords. You will attach your own chords to these three chords and then form a progression with it depending on the key that you'll be in. So, we will take the key of C, for instance. Now, if we take these chords, we play them in the key of C, then it will go at a 3, 6, and 2, right? Because the scale of C is this. I believe everybody knows. So the E becomes your 3, the A becomes your 6, and then the D becomes your 2. It means that we can play this as a 3, 6, 2. This, these three chords. It means we can play them as a 3, 6, 2 in the key of C. Okay. So now let's see. Now I won't intentionally pick any song because any song that you can actually get a 362 in it, uh, there's a possibility that you can apply these chords. Okay, so. I mix it with the progression I was playing. So what I was playing was one, then three, then six. Now I, 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 I was supposed to go to the two like this, right? And I did three, six, two, then five to the one. Now this sounds more like a jazz. So. So I can use it as a two, 
the to the five to the one in the key of C, right? Then we can take it to let's say C sharp. How can we play this this thing? In C sharp, how can how is it possible for us to use this? In C sharp, because if we you should read these progressions in C sharp, then let's take a look at the scale of C sharp. Right? So the E becomes our minor third. This becomes our minor set of flat six to the flat two. So in C sharp, it's like you don't have any any note in the major scale participating in this progression. So does that mean we can't use it? Let's see if we can use it or not. notice that I used it So in the case of C sharp, I'm, I'm kind of using it as what a uh, uh, passing chord, right? Um, to the two, to the three. This is how I play a two in the key of C sharp. So from here, which is uh, this, you do notice. So you can just do to your two, right? Can even use this as a talk talk music or or a, an, an intro. You can use it to create an intro right now. See, to the minor third, to the to the three. Yeah, so you can do. Yeah, so I formed the progression the key of C sharp right now. You can uh, test it a lot. I'm just giving you tools to experiment with. I'm not in this lesson. I'm not doing a song. Okay. So now let's say we choose a key like F. Okay. With the same progression. I'm going to apply it again. Now I'm going to apply it again. Spot it. I, so in the key of F, it's basically a seven three six. So you can just put it in a song. Yeah, one song I I, I I like using on this channel a lot is what As Dead Yet. So. Okay, so let's try another key as well. Now let's go to the key of uh, uh, G and C. Okay, so now we are in the key of G. So now I've used it as a passing chord to the four. So how did I do it? So one. Seven, then six, two, five, one, four. Okay, so 
it's it's part of the passing chord. So uh, um one six one So these are our chords, right? Then I'll do a one. So this is the additional chord I've added in this key. So you 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 use this chord and then you add your own additional chords to it. So one, one more time, let's go. do you think we can use it again let me see uh, uh, let's say B flat now let's say B flat so I come to use this same progression which is the E A and then what uh, the D so this will be a three in the scale of B flat because this is a scale of B flat okay right so you end up being on the third of D flat. So let's see. Four, five, six, then three, four. Just create something right on the spot. Uh, let me see. apply it there can form a groove at church or during a, a talking session or an announcement or something of that sort you can easily form this kind of groove there and then you are good to go okay yes so keep experimenting with it these are just the chords these three chords e a d uh, yeah find ways to transfer these progressions with that sound that movement into different keys and uh, use them diversely and then you you can you do a lot of exploit to this so that's what i want to share with you today god bless you if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and see you in the next lesson.